So I'm going to show you how it works as you apply your own identity. So first of all, in the beginning, there was nothing. So the world was no was not ever here at some point in uh, at the beginning. So for whatever reason, and I don't know the reason, the light showed up called the I am. The, so this this part of you, and it's you, it's in you already. This part of you is the is the creative part of your being. The creative part. This is the creative part. This is the creator. Okay? This this part of you also is that part of you which is provides the inspiration or the perfect information for existence. So I'm just kind of pointing out to you who you are. And then this part of you is the part that can erase the information. Any memories replaying? Okay, so that's the part you're going to appeal to. This is the part in you. It's in you. It's not out there someplace. It's in you. And then this part of you created you. So I'm going to, I'm going to draw you as a being. And so there's a, there's a part of you called a super conscious. Super C. Okay. And then there's another part of you called the conscious mind. And then another part of you called the subconscious. And for what the Hawaiians call here the alma kua. Alma kua. And I'm sorry the back of you cannot read it. And it's, at some point maybe you, when we take another break or go for lunch, you can come up here and take a look at it. And this part of here is called uhani. Uhani. And this part of you called the uni. He peely. But I'm, we're going to stay, hang around with the subconscious. So now, when something something comes up, it's in the computer bank. There's a memory in the computer bank that the, that the computer is experiencing, called anger, resentment, annoyance. But you have to be clear, it's the memory that's the cause of it. If you have a heart high, hypertension, that's not the problem. you got to come back to the memory, which is the cause of that. So you always want to come back to whatever is going on in you, and it's in the subconscious. Now, this subconscious in you feels unloved, uncared for, and unappreciated. So I'm going to teach you how to form a, the relationship with this part of you called the inner child so that you can work with it. Because if you can get this part of you to help you with the cleaning, um, you'll, you'll be able to move through the data much faster. But, but this is the part that we ignore, yeah? Now... This part of us, called the conscious mind, has choice. The choice is to be or not to be data-free. That's the choice. You've come into this lifetime because divinity says, I'm going to give you one more chance because you've got all this data replaying all these problems, but you've had those problems before. What Shakespeare calls four bemoan, moan, and grievances for gone. You've had them before. Since you didn't take, since you didn't pay them off the last time, or whatever the last time is, divinity loves you enough to say, "Okay, let me give you another chance." Now I don't know how many chances we that we've had, but I suspect for me it's probably been trillions. You know, you just can come back and come back and come back, and at some point you kind of get a stiff neck because you come back and you come back, and and, and you got to give up. You have to give up the data. What the great, what a great says, sage said, "Give up the world." So the world is the data called memory, and it's in you. So where, what is the problem? It's a memory. Where is the problem? In you. Where in you? The subconscious, which is a computer bank. And then now the conscious mind has a choice. It can stay engaged. This is called engagement, or it can let go. Okay, so now let's assume the conscious mind wants to let go. It says, wow, maybe I'll try some of this stuff. Maybe there's some... We'll see. I'll test it out. So now what you say is you begin the process of, let's say, let's keep it simple. I love you. 
All you do is say, I love you. And the great sages have said, love your enemies. And that's your only enemy is there. Love that part of you that wants to kill you and do you in. That part of you will kill you, will foreclose on your soul. And the soul being the conscious and something, this is your soul. So the question is whether you want your soul to be free. And so let's say you decide to say, I love you. And so here, here's the way it will work. It's beautiful. The simplicity of it is just incredible. So you say, I love you. The information goes down first. It always goes down. The, subcon the conscious mind cannot pray directly to the, to the eye. It can't be done. It has to go down. And so why does it go down? Because that's where the problem is. So it goes down, and gently, this, the zillions of data begin to gently kind of puff up like that. And then that data is sent then to the superconscious. So in this data is sent on to take a look at it. And this part of you goes, hmm, and begins the refinement of the data. You don't have to know it. I'm just telling you how it works. It doesn't matter. Just say, I love you. It's all you need. You don't need the rest of this. But I thought, well, I better throw that in there anyway, because there's some, maybe we have intellects who would like to grab it, you know? Okay. So it goes up there. And then the great sages said, knock. Hello, I got a problem. Um, I noticed that uh, stuff is in me going and I have high blood pressure, diabetes, back problems. So you're, you're mentioning your experience, but this is the data that you want to get at. So now this part of you said, okay, oh, you're gonna be 100% responsible. Wow, let's see what we can do. So this is called this is called mana. The mana is going to come down. The mana. This is the mana that's going to erase. So the mana comes down through the superconscious. That's the way it works. Comes down to the conscious mind, and then comes down into this and begins to dismantle this. And this is the way it looks. So the mana comes down, takes the memory, and purifies the memory. That's the first step. It will purify it. This is the divinity doing its work. I'm transforming. I'm transmuting the data called memory. I'm going to take that data, which is energy, counter energy, rebel power is going against you, and I'm going to purify it. That's the first thing it'll do. Just purify it. So now it becomes just pure energy. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't go against you. It's not with you. And then the divinity takes that and releases that energy into storage, takes that energy back and puts it back into itself because Energies cannot be made new or you cannot destroy the energy. You can transform it, but you can't destroy it. So you don't lose anything. It takes it back, takes it back to zero. I mean, to release. Once it releases, you're back to zero. And then once you're back to zero, you get inspired. And so if you're willing to do this cleaning, I love you, thank you, I love you, thank you. I'm going to show you how somebody, you breathe that way. And as you're doing this, this is the process called transmutation so you're asking this part of you to take that data and to transmute it to nothing and then to take that nothing and bring to that nothing that inspiration so there are only three kinds of data that you're having to deal with okay only three this is this is called what I'm going to call is and this is, this is the neutral state, like in your, oh, you don't drive, have mechanic, you don't have power drive, you, you, we are, we're all in automatic, yeah? So he, this is called is, infinite zero. And then the other one is where the divinity comes to the zero and inspires you. This is called easy, easy, you get it easy. I Z I easy. So now here's the inspiration. That means you're you're into the flow. It just happens without effort. It happens with ease. And then of course you have what we call the memory, and the memory goes against ease. And then you have you have disease away from the source and yourself. away from the source and your so that your, your your mind can only be in three states this this or this 
There's no, there's no halfway. You can't be over here and over here. Your pants will split. And <laughs> like that. So only three states. Either you're at neutral, which is zero state. Divinity is ready to come through. And if you're at, at zero, at is state, then it automatically comes through. But if you got a block, it can't come through. And so, and all you have to do is do the cleaning. I love you, thank you, breathing. So let's see if you have any more issues. Please. Because if, if, if you have a question, I know I'm unclear, so I'm willing to, to work on it. Anybody? Yes, ma'am. Ho'oponopono. Maybe you've heard of it, maybe you haven't. If you haven't heard of it, brace yourself, because it's the most powerful, the most transformational, the most magical, the most miraculous technique I've ever come across. I'm Dr. Joe Vitale. I've written 80 books. I've recorded 15 albums. I have 200 some products. I have a coaching program, certification programs, but nothing ever has had the impact in my life as Ho'oponopono has. I've been teaching it to other people since around 2005. There is great depth to it, though it's very simple. On the very superficial level, there's really only four phrases, and you're kind of saying them as a quiet prayer or petition. But there's so much more to it than that. And what I really want you to do is check it out. I want you to check it out for you, your family, your friends, and ultimately for the world. It's that powerful. And as I like to say, expect miracles.